This is another quick video really, um, just to clean the advanced retard mechanism on the bike. I'd spent some time setting the points to the uh, correct gap and making sure the timing was right and I hadn't even thought about looking at the advanced retard mechanism. Um, what that does is it actually moves the uh, spark forward as the engine speeds up so that uh, the fuel and air are burning at the most appropriate time to give the most power in the engine uh, and these can get a bit sticky over time uh, you know, especially if a bike's been stood Basically, it lives behind the plate that the points live on and it's two weights that as the engine spins round supposed to actually move out and as you can see they were stuck um, I was right to actually have thought about it and to come in and have a look at them now I could have stripped this completely down and measured the uh, springiness of the springs because obviously that's the thing that affects how we uh, quickly or slowly the weights go out uh, but in this case I decided really I was just going to uh, give it a clean make sure it was freed up and if it looked okay I'm quite happy with that it's a very simple mechanism I've used electrical contact cleaner because it's quite easy to use it wouldn't affect any of the wiring probably could have used brake cleaner as well and so yeah give it a little bit of lubricant when we're finished Obviously make sure that you don't leave any of the bits and pieces that have washed out in the uh, casing where the timing is. And that's freed up quite nicely now, so I think I'm going to be quite happy with that. Let's just see how it goes on when we get it back together in the bike. A bit of lubricant with some... Uh, I've actually used graphite oil there, uh, because the graphite leaves a nice... Uh, bit of lubricant when it starts to evaporate. Don't sweat, I am actually going to make sure the timing is right in a few minutes.
just nip out. Doesn't need to be gaffed up. Just set it to firing on one and four. Exactly on the mat. Ignition on. Just turn it back until the light comes on. Tighten it up. And then, by rights, <coughs> shortly and then when it comes back on we should be back on firing spot on I haven't done anything with that one so I don't need to really worry about it I'm not going to be pedantic I think that'll be okay Sounds good to me. If you've enjoyed watching this and it's give you a bit of help, why not subscribe to our channel? Now we do all sorts of things and it can be quite interesting to follow on. But anyway, thank you very much for watching and uh, let's see what we do next time.